Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good evening, Mr. Speaker. Good evening, sir. This is, in my opinion, a feel-good legislation. That is all it is. It feels good to do this. But if you look at reality, if you look at the harsh reality, it does much more harm than any good at all. We keep saying this, that Connecticut is pro-business. Connecticut is open for business. And what we do here constantly, consistently, is to make it far more difficult for businesses to operate, to continue here in Connecticut. No wonder we see vans leaving Connecticut for other states. This is the harsh reality of where we are today. And what we will do with all this legislation, it is just a feel-good legislation, will make it even worse. Every analysis across the country has shown repeatedly that increasing this minimum wage will result in a net loss of jobs. The estimate is for the country, for the nation, as much as 500,000 jobs would be lost if this minimum wage were to be raised. Of course, not 500,000 in Connecticut, but we will have, unfortunately, our fair share, unfortunately, of jobs that are lost here as well. And as a net result of this job loss, you can just imagine more and more people on unemployment rolls and then the net impact on the state directly and indirectly. Mr. Speaker, I myself am a small business owner. I have a small practice here in Hartford and Glastonbury. And over the years earlier on, I have hired a lot of people on minimum wage just to do the file clerk, just to do a little extra help in the office because my practice could afford that, a small businessman. But as we keep raising this minimum wage, as we keep raising the various factors that impact small businesses, the net result is that job is being done by others in the practice and we have not employed anybody at all. What is happening to me, a small businessman, is what is happening to all the small businesses here in Connecticut. And as we all know, small businesses are the backbone of our state. The intention to raise the standard of living for everyone is definitely the right thing to do. Raising the skills of our workforce is the right thing to do. So what we need to invest in our citizens, in our state, is job training so that they're better equipped for the jobs and that will give them the pay, the appropriate pay, that can put food and even much more our on youth, their table. Our younger generation, they need to have a job. And what we have seen in the reports is that the unemployment rate in the younger generation, less than 25 age, is the highest, once again, because of this minimum wage increase. And that group of people, as for example, as I told you, in my own office, the file clerk, the person who gives an extra helping hand, those are the young people, the youth, that I used to employ for years, and now obviously, for financial reasons, cannot afford to do that at all. So my concern is, as we increase this wages, I do understand the, the, the single mother working two jobs, finding it very difficult to put food on the table. I'm well aware of that. I see that in my practice day in and day out. My heart goes out to them. But I'm equally concerned about our youth, wanting to keep them out of the streets, and make sure they're responsible citizens. And by raising this, we are increasing the chances that our youth will continue to be, unfortunately, unemployed. Through you, Mr. Speaker, 
as we increase this minimum wage, the impact is that the cost of goods, the cost of services is going to go up. And as the cost of the services go up, it will just harm the very people that we want to try to help. Because now when they go to a McDonald's or they go to get their food from any other fast food restaurant or anywhere, cost of everything is going to go up. So I feel that at the end of the day, this dollar ten, this four quarters and a dime that we talked about is going to have a far more negative impact both on the people on whom we have raised the income and, of course, on the small businesses. Mr. Speaker, I feel that job training and training people for appropriate job levels so they can have a decent income, put food on the table, that is the rate for us to go and not by increasing the minimum wage. It will do more harm than any good. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. To carry your remark further on Senate Bill 32.